I'm Chris Bagg of Chris Bagg Coaching Group. In this video, we're going to talk about functional threshold power, or FTP, and how you're going to set it and begin to use it in your own training. So the first thing everyone wants to know is how do you get started with a power meter? If you just go out and start riding with it and just looking at the numbers, you're basically using it like a thermometer. Like, what am I doing right now? It's not very useful. So you need to figure out what's called your functional threshold power. That's the level of effort that you could sustain for an hour, theoretically. There's a few ways that you can figure out that number. The first way is to go out and try to ride as hard as you can for one straight hour. Uh, that's really hard to do, and it's really difficult to convince an athlete to go out and ride for 60 minutes as hard as he or she can. Another issue is that they're probably going to get it wrong. Uh, you'll go too hard and then blow up, and your data is going to be all messed up. Uh, a much better way to do it is a 20-minute test, and you can do this using your Pioneer cycling computer. It has it right inside. You can just dial it up and say, I want to do a 20-minute test. You basically do a 20 minute test as hard as you can go for that period of time, which more athletes are like willing to do a 20 minute test as hard as they can. And then you take 5% off of that number. So say you go out and you manage to average 220 watts for that 20 minutes. So you're gonna take 5% of that, 10% is 22, so 5% is 11, so 209 watts. That is your functional threshold power or FTP it gets called a lot. That's the number that you can theoretically hold for one hour. I say theoretically because not many athletes do the necessary threshold work to sustain that number for an hour. They get really, really good at 20 minute efforts, 10 minute efforts, that kind of thing. And they don't build up to being able to hold that 209 watts for 60 minutes. So that's something that you really do need to support in your training. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to pace whatever distance of triathlon you're racing, Olympic distance, half iron distance, or full iron distance, and how to manage hills and descents while you're racing.